Slot receivers are a dime a dozen nowadays in the NFL. You have to really have something that makes you stand out if you want to be an early pick. As a slot receiver, does Parker Washington have that special trait? Find out in this 2-Minute Trail. Washington is a stereotypical shifty slot receiver. He's able to cross over corners well and fake them out with his explosiveness, acceleration, and route running ability. This makes him great after the catch, but he doesn't have the long speed that a lot of smaller receivers like himself usually have. He has a compact frame, weighing in at 205 pounds at the combine, and this makes him difficult to bring down with the ball in his hands. Due to his smaller stature, he typically has to stretch out to his max limit in order to bring in the majority of his passes. This leaves him vulnerable to hits and the inability to create more yards after bringing the ball in. He can't get laid out or lose these contested catches more often than you desire. When the ball is in the air, Washington displays impressive body control. He's able to contort and adjust his body to bring even off-target throws in, which happened often from the Penn State quarterback room. He possesses the most reliable set of hands of any wide receiver in this class and is a magnet for the ball. This will allow him to be a reliable safety blanket for whichever quarterback he is working with and could be a great addition for a young passers wide receiver room. He works well in the phone booth and being able to jump in and out of breaks. This means he provides some value as a punt or kick returner, which he did to great success in college. He doesn't have a ton of breakaway speed and doesn't provide much home run ability, but he will consistently get you punt return yards. Parker Washington reminds me of another slot receiver, Sterling Shepard. Coming out of Oklahoma, Shepard was pegged as a slot only player. Despite his injuries, he has been a great player when he's on the field. He has the ability to make a man miss and provides a reliable option underneath for Daniel Jones. He also shows great body control and steady hands when some of the balls were thrown off target. Just like Washington, Shepard doesn't provide a ton of upside or home run ability downfield, but is a reliable, consistent receiver underneath for his QB. For a draft range, Washington probably caps out as a secondary option in the passing game, but will likely find himself settling in as a third option and steady slot guy for many years. Washington is someone who brings a very specific skill set and fits a specific role on a team, but can excel in the right scheme. For that reason, I would take him at the end of day two. And that's the two minute drill.